The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. So there are two senses in which to look at today's gospel. The first is a very general sense, uh, an eschatological sense. We do not know when the second coming will happen. Christ could very much return at any moment, and so we must be ready. It's a very general, broad sense that's applicable to everyone. But the second sense is more specific and personal to each of us. We don't know when Christ is coming, true, but we also don't know when we will individually pass away. Are we ready? Are we ready to face God and our judgment? Death is real, it comes for all of us. But we don't know the hour, we don't know the day. And so we have to be ready. Have we gone to confession? Have we gone to communion? Have we made amends with our brothers and sisters and our neighbors? Have we done everything we can to possibly prepare for a good death, a holy death? That's a question we have to answer today. 